Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Mission Fleet um, figure. This one actually does come with the ship. It is the um, Jedi Starfighter with Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, in Clone Wars attire. And um, I was really looking to get my hands on one of these ships. Again, like I said in other Mission Fleet videos, because I think that the coolest part about them being this scale is the fact that they have like a one-to-one -one size ship and it's really affordable. This is only $20. Um, I actually was looking for the Jedi, uh, the Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, but I can't find that one anywhere. I like randomly happened to find this one at Target and it just seems like all the Mission Fleet, they're just like selling out super fast. I don't know if they've just not been making a lot of production or if people have really, really wanted them and have just been buying them as soon as they come onto the shelves. Um, I'm not really inclined to think that, but I mean, I definitely could be wrong if people are like seeing the coolness of them that I now am. Um, so I'm really excited to have at least one ship. Um, it does make me want to get more with the way that they're so affordable and they're really compact so they don't take up a lot of space and they have a nice action figure. So um, this is basically the box. It's nice. You can see the figure in the little window here and then a picture um, on, the, on the front. And then on the back, it does give another picture, more of a diagram layout of all the things and then a couple of play features. Again, this is marketed towards smaller kids um, but that's basically it for the package it does also look like um, they show the um, x-wing and then the uh, tie fighter on the back there or on the top as maybe part of the wave I'm not sure and then it is actual size it is one-to-one -one, which is a pretty cool thing um, in my opinion so yeah I'm excited to see this in person let's go ahead and open it up and we will take a closer look All right, so here is the ship. It is so small and super cute. Before we go into it though, I do wanna kinda of go over everything else. Um, we do have Obi-Wan as well, and he comes with his lightsaber. The first thing I wanna show, just because I noticed this just happened, this is the little cannon accessory that you can change. and um, It's got like a turret base, and then you can take it off and put it on the uh, Starfighter. I, I broke it when I opened it which kind of sucks. I didn't mean to do that, and I just realized it, like, I hit it on my thumb when I pulled it out, and I guess that was enough to snap the plastic. So that is, like, really disappointing. You definitely could glue it, but I don't really care for this turret, so I probably won't. Um, it is all just gray. It does have, like, a little flick fire. If you hit the red button, this little green thing will shoot out, which is cool. I mean, it's a fun play feature. Um, like I said, you can remove the turret and put it on the Starfighter, which I'll show in a minute. Um, it looks like Obi-Wan could probably hold it, Yes, he can hold it for sure, which is nice. It's good that it fits. Um, we do have Obi-Wan, and he does have his lightsaber. Initially, when I opened it, I was really disappointed because it looked like this from the back, and I was like, oh, they didn't make it look like Obi-Wan's lightsaber. But actually, it does, from the front, look like his lightsaber. You just can't tell because it's not colored in whatsoever. Not only that, but this lightsaber hilt is um, Episode One Obi-Wan. So that's really funny. I can tell that the, the chrome that they sprayed on here is just like really the thinnest layer in the light behind me. If you hold it up, I can see the blue blade entirely. They should have gone over it with more coats because it's almost translucent. I don't know if that picks up at all on the camera, but um, definitely could have done some more detailing on the lightsaber. Um, it seems really short to me, but I guess these figures are just so small. Um, it makes sense. He holds it nice. He's got two cup hands for lightsaber holding. Um, the Obi-Wan himself looks really, really good. He's seen in his like Clone Wars attire. He doesn't have any insignias, which is kind of a shame. But I think that overall, the paint application on the face and everything is really, really good. And then I think his armor looks really cool. I would love to see them do just a normal robed Obi-Wan from Episode 3. Um, they might do that in the future. I don't know. They might just stick to this version. The Anakin, I believe, is also a Clone Wars version. Uh, but yeah, he looks really good. The eyes are painted really cleanly. The hair looks nice. Um, there's no like painting gaffs or anything. Um, so I like it. I like it a lot. Very cool. And this Obi-Wan I think also does come in like this little speeder bike um, set that's like a, tw uh, a $15 set or something. Um, so there is that. Uh, you could get him in two ways that way, which if you want to get all the vehicles, you'll have to collect doubles. Um, so here is the Jedi Starfighter, and like I said, I'm really pleased with the size of it. I don't know, I love it. Um, and it is a one-to-one, -one, so it does fit Obi-Wan, it is to scale, supposedly. Um, I'm not good enough on the specs to know if that is true or not, um, or super accurate. The astromech droid is set in, this is uh, should be R4P17, um, and his head turns, which is really cool. I like that they gave articulation to the um, astromech droid's head. That is super groovy. Um, you can... There are two places on the wings right here and here where you can put the cannon, uh, the little turret on. 
Um, I'll just do it on this side here. Oops, and I launched it because I hit the button. Uh, let's try. So you can play with, with it like they're flying in space and he launches a turret. It looks a little awkward because there's not one on the other side. Definitely not something that I would display with the ship, but it is fun that it becomes a play feature. Um, of course, the other cool thing about this ship is the wings do fold out in its combat mode um, as needed. There's little finger joints where you can kind of put your nail in, which is really nice. Uh, you don't have to fiddle with them for too long. And they do have holes on both sides, which is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure why, but at least it's symmetric. Um, but it looks really good. I mean, I love the dark gray and the red. It's got a little bit of battle damage on the front. Um, it's made out of, I can tell, a really light plastic, but that's okay. And then it's got some landing gears on the bottom. Um, it does have 2020 copyright on the bottom, which is nice. And then, of course, the cockpit should open, just like that, which I think... Does it open like that? Or, yeah, it should open like that. Um, there's definitely some controls and stuff on the inside. It's all painted gray. This is something that you could spruce up if you cared to. I think that definitely you could take some paint in there and make it a little bit cooler looking. Uh, but I do like that they include it, and it looks like there's plenty of room for Obi-Wan. Um, no lightsaber storage, but I bet you could just throw the lightsaber in there with him. Um, so just, just like all the other Mission Fleet figures, uh, he's got a ball jointed head, um, ball head shoulders, uh, swivel wrists, and then uh, swivel uh, hips. So um, just going through articulation, he can sit down. Their feet are a little bit bigger, so it does look kind of bulky, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to just put him in the ship here. It does look like he can maybe hang on to these controls on the side. Yeah, Obi-Wan fits in there with plenty of room and his little hands do grip onto those controls so he's not like loose in the ship, which is nice. So if you're like making him fly upside down, he's going to stay, uh, which is really cool. There's no storage that I can see for the lightsaber. You could just throw it in there with him. It does fit. Um, and then have him like that, but it is going to rattle. So you can just, you know, decide on if that's something that you want to do or not. I'm going to take it out for a second. But yeah, hopefully you can see him through the bubble. I think he looks really, really good. I love this little ship. It's super cute. It's just like really compact and you can definitely have a fleet of vehicles this size and not take up a whole lot of space. And I really like it for that. And then, you know, obviously for the detail, um, it is good. And for the price, I mean, in my opinion, you can't beat it. I've never really cared so much to get vehicles for like action figures, but I really, really like this scale personally. So uh, anyways, that's little Obi-Wan and his Jedi Starfighter. I would love to find Anakin and then maybe some of the other uh, flying ships as well. I think they look great. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.